Hello, and welcome along to the Wixie Boy Kitchen. Come on in. Come into my Christmas kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, we're into the episode two now of the Christmas specials. Um, and today I want to discuss leftovers. We all have loads of those over Christmas, don't we? I mean, turkey, gammon, you know, Brussels, all that stuff. Loads of, loads of crap left over. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I quite often like to make a turkey curry. That's really good, I think. But today I'm going to show you something I've been meaning to show you for a long time. It's my flatbreads. I usually make them at least once a week, once every couple of weeks. They're, they're, they're so versatile. Um, you can make, you know, do some nice chicken with Nando sort of style sauce. Um, use them for naan breads. They're really good enough for naan breads. Um, yeah, but today we're going to, I'm going to show you them and we can use them as our little turkey what would you call it? Kind of like a turkey fajita almost, I suppose. Or just a turkey wrap, I suppose is the best way. So we're going to make these flatbreads and then I'm just going to put them together. We're going to make a little slaw. Um, I'm going to use some Brussels sprouts. So you shred them raw. You don't, don't use the leftover ones. But yeah, if you sort of maybe save a few if you want to do this thing. Cheers. Right, so let's crack on with this. So what do we need? We need self-raising flour. Um, again, it's quite an easy, easy ratio with this one. Self-raising flour and plain yogurt, exactly the same quantities. Um, so, let's get ourselves a bowl again. Let's move me beer. Just tear that up, right, so. Natural yogurt. One of these little pots is 150 grams. So we need 150 grams of self-raising flour. I'm just gonna get my self-raising flour out. We're gonna do 150 grams in here. Get your little drug scales out. Okay, that's good. Um, could sieve it. I'm not going to bother today. I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So what we're going to do is go straight in with this. Get yourself like a little spatula or something. I don't want to waste any of this. So. Get that all out. Um, we're going to go in with some salt. Actually, I'm not going to use that salt. I'm going to use table salt. So, a pinch of salt, a few pinches. Uh, you can just, you know, ready to go with that really, but I like to add a few other little things. So, I've got some zitar kicking around which is really good, which I can't find now. Okay, I won't use that then. What else have we got here that's nice, isn't it? You know what, I think I might just keep it. I'll go a bit of tarragon. I'm gonna go a little bit of tarragon. It's a little pinch. So we got that in the bowl. Now we just need to mix it up. Choose our spatula first. Um, it's good to put a little bit of olive oil in as well, actually, but I'm just going to see what sort of consistency this is. I usually go some olive oil. Get your hands in. I mean, I, I said equal measures, but I usually put a little bit more flour in because it I do. This actually feels pretty good. It's actually not bad, you know. I'm actually going to put a bit of oil in it as well. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of olive oil. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of olive oil. 
not tip the bottle over this time. Right. Again, we just need it so we can get all those. Just going to put it there a second. Uh, get a little bit of my bit of flour onto my board so it doesn't stick. Now we don't need to need this quite as much as we do for pastry. It tends to bind really nice actually with the yogurt. That's looking pretty good. Should go quite elasticy. A little bit more. Pretty good, just sticking to my board a bit. Right, sticking back in there, because now he's got to rest. So, he goes in there, stick a towel over him, put him somewhere cool and dry. Right. So that's done. Now we're going to make the slaw while we're waiting. Put my little calendar up. So what do you want for this? You want, I would say, yeah, let's go. You know what? I've got four Brussels sprouts. Let's use them up. So yeah, maybe save yourself a couple of Brussels sprouts. Red cabbage if you like, you don't have to. And then some onion. Go red. Shall I go red onion? No, let's go normal onion. So I've got the redness of the cabbage. So we don't need all that. We need half of that. Obviously, it depends how many you're making them for. Um, I'm just going to make a small slaw. So right. Little, little drinkies. Christmas after all. Right, so. Uh, take that off first. Half, half them. Take a bit of that core off, and then any of the outer leaves that are a bit dirty or whatever. It will probably will give this a little wash anyway. Okay. One more. Okay, great. So, we need to shred this now. So, I'm going to do it like I would a lettuce. So, I'm just going to go down one side. like that. Now do with that to be fair. Right. Then we're gonna go I'm just gonna go a little bit of this. I'm not gonna go all of that. Take that out of there, it's a bit dry. Right. Uh, probably do. And then slice a bit of onion. Again.
depends how many, I mean, if you've got a big family and you're doing this for lots of people, obviously you would. Or you might have coleslaw left over from Christmas. Or, you know, for your Boxing Day other stuff. Right. Boxing Day other stuff, what am I going about? Right, okay, anyway. So I need a bowl to put that in. Nice. Right, okay, so. And then. Bit of salt, bit of pepper. My pepper mill's run out, so. Going in with me Christmas ting. Lemon juice is actually good in this, so have I got a lemon cut? No. Uh, so lemon juice is nice in this, so I'm just going to go that little end of it. Beautiful. Do. And then it's up to you really what you do here. You can go yogurt. It's nice. I'm just going mayo, classic. I don't know. A tablespoon and a half or something, I suppose. A little bit of hot pepper sauce. I do like a little bit of that in me slaw. Right. Get yourself a fork, obviously mix all that in. Fold it into the mayo. You don't want it to be too saucy, I don't think. I think it's nice if it's fresh. That's very good, that does. Right. There we go, that's that done. Stick that there. Next thing we need to do is, I think we're gonna cook our flatbreads up. That's what we're gonna do now. So, you probably need to leave them to rest for a little bit longer than I have. So we take our pastry, we're going to roll it out. Before we do that, we're going to get our pan on. You want a nice crepe pan really, or a nice frying pan, and you want some rapeseed oil. Uh, I must say these are quite hungry for oil. I do for starters. Uh, you can do them drier as a healthier option, but I think they're nicer when they like caramelize with that oil and everything. I mean, it's Christmas, so we've got to indulge. So let's get ourselves some flour. Um, this will do two, this mixture. I'm just gonna coat it in the flour just to stop it sticking. So this will be two decent sized ones. Or four thinner ones, you know? Four smaller thin ones. Just move those out of the way. So, just flatten it out. Try and make, I mean, you can, you can make these whatever sort of shape you want, obviously. I quite like a kind of, almost like a pitter. They're so nice to roll. Just be careful, you don't want to do them too thin. But they are very filling, so. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of like a nice shape, I think. Obviously, you've got to allow for the size of your pan as well. So we're gonna stick this on, full pack. Full pack, full whack. Can't have the thing on, so we might have the smoke alarms going off again, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. So you wanna get this piping hot, very, very hot. I'm going to turn that on. I know it's not the prettiest of lights, but. Right, just, just let that get nice and hot. <sighs> nice beer, this. Only a little, but. Right.
then what I like to do is you got to be careful these because they're quite fragile. There we go. It's nice to sit away nicely. And then what I do is just take it away from the flame. If you've got any spray oil, spray this side because it will soak the oil up. It's nice to give it. I mean, that's probably not hot enough, so you really need it to be absolutely smoking hot. What you want is these bubbles to form. You can just about see them on your first one. It's usually your second one when you've got more heat. And what we want to do is flip him over just to see what he's like underneath. Give this side a little bit of a spray because there's some areas that haven't absorbed the oil. Don't have to use rapeseed, olive oil is fine. Just crush it. I like to just. You'll see the second one will be better than this. But this is fine. Just press it down, just slightly, but just be careful you don't splash yourself with that oil. Oh, you can eat these hot or cold, to be honest. They're just as nice cold. Good thing to do is prep up your other one while you're just waiting. You're ready to go then. crystallization on the uh, top of the bread. Get yourself a board of some kind. Yeah, that's done. Cool. Now, need more oil. As you can see, that one's really starting to bubble up nicely already. The hotter it is, the better it is. I just get a bit impatient. Nice. Like I say, these are absolutely fantastic as naan breads, actually. Naan breads. Um, to have with your curry. That's what I started making them for. Um, then I just adapted them and thought, actually, you could have these with other things. You know, chicken and stuff like that. I like all that oil to get stuck in. But like I say, they're very filling. And one of these with filling is, and that's your dinner done. That's the flatbreads done. So we're gonna start constructing them now. So we're gonna go in with some, a little bit of rocket, I think. A little bit of rocket at the bottom. A little bit of this nice slaw that we made. And then our pulled turkey. I like to shred it.
Yeah. Then to finish it off, a little bit of our cranberry sauce. Emma doesn't like cranberry sauce, I won't give her any. And literally, just wrap it round. Beautiful. And there it is. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Thank you for watching. Try these, please do. They're amazing. Have a good Christmas. Join me for the next episode.